town of Litchfield Park may be small, but the 5,700 people who live there are big in pride, especially when it comes to how this town got started. Here's Wake Up Arizona's Heidi Goidia. 1916 in the far west valley farmers had no idea of the change coming their way it was thanks to this man paul litchfield a young executive with the goodyear tire and rubber company he was on the hunt for long staple cotton a necessary component for tires and one in short supply well there were only two places in the world to get it one was egypt and you couldn't get to egypt because this was the middle of world war one and the german u-boats were patrolling the mediterranean and up the west coast of Europe. And the other place was along the barrier islands of our southeastern part of our country. And all of that was infected with bow weevil. He needed farmers to grow it, but farmers here said no thanks. He went back to Akron and he, he told his superiors, um, let's go out and buy and lease our own land out here and grow our own long staple cotton and they bought it workers who had been employed by mining companies jumped at the chance to work on top of the land instead of under it they cleared the land they built the canals they dug the wells they planted the cotton and by fall of 1917 they had their first crop before long goodyear tire owned three farms here in the valley one in chandler sun city and the biggest one here in the west valley Thousands of workers moved in with their families, and before you knew it, a town was born. A little company town developed in uh, the center of the ranch, and that became known as Litchfield Park. Goodyear executives wanting to come out and check on the progress would need a place to stay. So they built this small building that they called the organization house, and when the company elite would come out here to take a look at the farm, uh, they had a place to stay and a place to eat. And that's the wigwam. That's the wigwam. And nearly 100 years later, some of that organization house still stands. This was the uh, original fireplace lounge. This portion of the original structure is sort of the center, the hub of the wigwam resort. And one really cool aspect is that if you look at the uh, windows throughout the resort, they are tire tread patterns that Goodyear had in production at the time. In fact, the wigwam is full of pictures showing off this small town's very big history. But there's definitely a, a, a great sense of place here, and history plays a big part in that. In Litchfield Park, Heidi Goitia, CBS 5 News. And when technology changed and cotton was no longer needed for tires, the Litchfield Ranch became an experimental farm, testing everything from green feeding of cattle to tires used on farm tractors. Coming up tomorrow, how one of the biggest soccer teams in the world, we're talking